Hi, this is Amy, and this is the Smarter Gmail series, Lesson 9. And today we're going to talk about using task in Gmail. So we're going to talk about two different things. One is just the task list period. We're going to look at how to see it in Gmail and through calendars. And then the other thing is how to create task from a series of emails. So let's start out with learning about task. So I'm going to move on over to my work email inbox and up at the top left I'm going to toggle using my mail button in the top left from mail to task and now I see my task list pop up in the uh, right hand corner over here. Now if I want to I can pop that task list out and I can see it in a different way. You can see I've got some task added here. I can also add a new task down here if I'd like. I can um, do things like organize this task list so I can indent using uh, either the settings down here or the tab on my keyboard. I can unindent with shift tab so that I can create a whole cascade of tasks down here. So this is usually pretty self-explanatory. When I complete a task I can check it off and then I can leave it displayed there or I can clear the completed task. Let's pop that back in and then move over to our calendar and see how we can see this there. So I'm going to use my black bar at the top to move over to my calendar. And now in my calendars list I should see task listed here in my calendars list. And there it is. This is the same task list that I see in Gmail. And I can manage it and work with it exactly the same way that I do in Gmail. Now I told you I was going to show you one other thing and that is how to take an email and turn it into a task. So let's say that um, I want to take time to look at this new tool that Jessica told me about. So I'm going to open up the email. I can't do it right now. I need to do it later. And then I'm going to look at the more button at the top and I'm going to choose add to task. So now here it is. Cool tool. That's what Jessica put in the subject line. And here I have a link to the email that is related to that cool tool. So just to kind of reiterate, if I wanted to do things to check out later, I could do that. Let me take this task and move it up to the top. And then I'll take my cool tool task and I'm going to um, move that in. Sorry, I don't want to. I really don't want to check that off. I just want to indent it. So things to check out later, cool tool. And I think I had one in here from my other friend, Jessica, also. I can find that one and I can add that one to the cool tool list also by adding it, moving it up, and then moving it in one. So remember tasks are meant to keep us on track so that we're not letting our email list be our list of things to do for the day. We're really controlling our own workflow so that we get done things in the order that we need to get them done instead of just because somebody emailed us just now. So part of the Gmail philosophy. Hope that helps and you learned something about how to use task. Thanks for watching and have a great day.